A little while ago, I mentioned in a video that I bought new shoes, even though I didn't need new shoes, but that I would explain to you why. So today, I want to review the Ultra Boost 19, test them out on a run, and explain to you why I got them. Last year for Black Friday, I bought two new pair of Adidas Solar Boost. Even though I didn't really need new shoes because I had a pair of Solar Boost and other running shoes that I was running in, but there was a great deal on and I figured down the line I would need new shoes. So I, I got two new pair and they've been sitting in shoe boxes waiting to be used. So there was absolutely no reason for me to buy new shoes. I've worn lots of shoes. End of September, I was in Berlin for the Berlin Marathon. And if you watch my video, you might remember that at the beginning of the video, I was uh, riding a bike through the park in search of the Stand By Me tree. And I got soaking wet. It was raining really hard. Uh, I was going around and biking around and walking around trying to see as much of Berlin as I could. And my shoes got soaking wet. The next day, I had a full day planned for Saturday a lot of things to do in Berlin and I didn't really want to walk around all day in wet shoes. So um, I went in search of cheap shoes to wear. Now the shops that I went to didn't really have a lot of cheap shoes that, and I found a pair of 50 euro shoes that I kind of liked, they were okay. Uh, but then I went to a shop and they had the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 on sale for 130 euros, which is 50 euros less than back home. So I figured instead of buying a pair of shoes for 50 euros that I probably wasn't gonna wear again and would end up in the bottom of a pile somewhere, uh, I would spend the extra money on a pair of running shoes that would probably be great shoes uh, and I would use a lot. So um, that's how I justified to myself to buy these shoes. Let's move on to the shoes. Now the Ultra Boost 19 is the next version in the Ultra Boost line. I've been very happy running in my Ultra Boost, so I was very curious to find out what the differences are in the shoes. On the Adidas website, you can't really find a lot of information what the differences are, uh, other than they say it has more boost. In the stores, all they can really tell me is that the 19 is a better shoe. So yeah, uh, that doesn't give me a lot of information, so I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to test that out myself. The material of the shoe is a little bit different. The design is a little bit different as well. Uh, it still has a prime knit, but the prime knit on the 19 feels like it's a little bit tighter. I really admire your shoes. Uh, the sole is a little bit different. It has a little bit more surface on the 19, which might indicate that it has a longer lifespan, which is always a plus. It still has a familiar torsion plate, and uh, the boost of the shoe, it feels a little bit harder and it looks like there's a little bit more material there. So I wonder if you can actually feel that while you're running. There's only one way to find out. So uh, let's take them for a run. Okay, so I haven't run that much distance yet, but my initial feel for the shoes are that one, they're very comfortable. They feel great. I'm trying to figure out if there's a difference between these and my regular Ultra Boost. And it's hard to tell. The thing I kind of notice is that I feel maybe the, the shoe feels a little bit harder. Maybe that results in a little bit more support. I don't know what that does for the energy return. So yeah. For now, all I can really say is that they run great, they feel very comfortable. <laughs> all right, so I covered a little bit more distance in the shoes now, and what I said before about them um, feeling a little bit harder, that kind of has gone away. They do feel a little bit more stable, a little bit more supportive. Uh, doesn't take anything away from the Ultra Boost. I still think they're awesome to run in. But um, I do feel that maybe 
the 19s have a little step up on on the ultra boost they feel very comfortable and and very uh supportive where he's stable <laughs> Okay, to give it a little bit more time to test the shoes, I took them uh, to the Urban Trail in Harlem today, just to get a little bit more distance in them, to get a feel for the shoes. Now, uh, the hardness that I felt before in the shoes, I don't feel that anymore. I still feel that they're a little bit more stable. There's a little bit more stability in the shoe, which gives you um, a better feel, I think, than the Ultra Boost. That doesn't take away that I still like to run in the Ultra Boost. But, um, yeah, I can see that if you're getting a new pair of shoes, um, you'd probably pick the, these over the older Ultra Boost. Now, um, I've mentioned before that my uh, Adidas Solar Boost have been my favorite shoe for quite a while now. And I wanted to see how these compare to the Solar Boost. Uh, I still think the Solar Boost have my preference. That is because I think the Solar Boost feel a little bit more more bounce they have a little bit more bounce to it they feel softer and I think I prefer that I guess that's kind of personal if you don't like extra boost or extra uh, softness in your shoe then you might prefer the ultra boost 19 so yeah the, they're all great shoes the ultra boost the solar boost the ultra boost 19 I think they're all awesome and I love running in each and every pair but yeah uh, if you're getting new shoes or if you don't have ultra boost yet um, I'd go for the 19s all right I hope you enjoyed this review if you did consider subscribing to the channel to get other reviews uh, raise videos like the one I'm running now the urban trail in Harlem uh, until next time get out there and run